So this is just a, a view of a liver. For this years, is, people have been trying to improve ultrasound. So there should be something right up here and we're not seeing it very well. When you're in the solid tissue of like the liver or the thyroid or the breast, it's really hard to distinguish, well, what's going on inside there? So ultrasound began 40, 50 years ago, and it was originally developed to look at babies in utero. And from there, it's grown to a tremendous tool that can examine almost any kind of soft tissue. Ultrasound energy, when it hits a surface, it doesn't just sort of reflects straight back necessarily and gives us a picture. Sometimes the energy goes in different directions and scatters, and so it's not a, a perfect image. So on the outside of the screen is the old-fashioned black and white B-scan. What oh, we've done here is sort of a very inside. special analysis based on what comes back from larger and smaller objects. They have a certain signature and we're looking for that signature mathematically and then we display it as colors. And the color tells you something about what the scatterers are inside the tissue, inside the cells. The doctors are always looking at livers and thyroids and breast tissue and others, and they might see some unusual area, so that's a lesion. Well, it'd be great if we could just characterize that tissue and know just by the scan and just by the colors and be reassured that it's normal or benign, basically. So yeah, in um, many cases, the normal uh, tissue will be uh, somewhat greenish, on. and then the unusual yeah, the things will show up as bright blue spots or, or orange-red spots. And one thing that happens that we're involved with in medicine is tumors and tumor therapy. So if you could look at something and figure out is the therapy working, that would be useful. Ultrasound is, for example, is going into miniaturized versions that people can hold in their pockets and take out to rural clinics, for example. So it has a lot of uses, not just in the big hospitals, but sort of out in clinics everywhere, even in the, the developing world. Sometimes replacing maybe a CT scan or an MR scan where we might have that information, but ultrasound can do it cheaper, better, faster at the bedside at the place where you're gonna do your intervention. At the end of the day, if it really makes an improvement, then it starts to disseminate worldwide. It's a, a very nice pathway, but it is one that takes you know years and years of work to, to get it disseminated.